Bonsai! I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and the epic finale of Season 2 left us on the edge of our seat wondering what would happen next. Many people are wondering, where's Robbie? Is Miguel alive? Will Bert join Kreese's Cobra Kai? Okay, maybe I'm the only one wondering that. But the point is, there's so much to be excited for in Cobra Kai Season 3. And one of the big questions I and a lot of people have going into Season 3 of Cobra Kai is how long after the events of Season 2 will Season 3 take place? Now this is all pure speculation because we won't actually know until the trailer or the actual season comes out. So let's look back at Cobra Kai Seasons 1 and 2. Now, Cobra Kai Season 1 ended with Kreese coming to Cobra Kai Dojo and confronting Johnny. Then we get to Season 2, and I actually predicted that it wouldn't just start right out with that, but it pretty much does. Season 2 literally opens up with that same scene I thought you know maybe we'd go see Daniel or something and then kind of head back there but it literally opens with Kreese and Johnny the same way season one left off so after a whole year of waiting for the next season it picked up right where it left off so now if we look at how season two ended we saw Johnny sitting at the beach he was thinking about everything Miguel you know he feels like it's his fault and then literally Kreese just took over Cobra Kai left him in the trash and now Johnny throws his phone away, throws his keys in the car, he's done, he's giving up. But then the final shot, you see Johnny's phone and Allie has sent him a friend request. Now this is a huge cliffhanger because Johnny has been talking about Allie in seasons one and two, and I'm sure even before that, all these years, I'm sure he's been thinking about her. And now she actually sends him the friend request, but he doesn't see it. And this would be the time where he really needs it most because he has no Carmen, he has no Miguel, he has no Cobra Kai, he has nothing. So even though Miguel's in the hospital, hospital and that's like the worst thing maybe him seeing Ali's request would have had some sort of hope for him it would have made something better but he didn't even see her request so now he has nothing and will he find the phone will he ever know that Ali requested him I personally don't believe we're gonna have a scene where Johnny goes to the beach and gets his phone and see the request I think Allie's gonna come back and then Johnny's gonna see her. There was no like scheduled thing. I think it's just gonna be kind of a coincidence or an accident. And I think they'll bump into each other and then maybe Allie will say something like, hey, why didn't you accept my friend request? And then Johnny will just be in too much shock. I'll make a video on that and how I think Allie's coming back, but that's sort of a brief little thing. So back to the big question, will season three take place immediately after season two ends? I do not think so. I don't think we're gonna see Johnny throw his phone away to start season three. I don't think we're gonna see him walk off because he walked off screen. We had no idea where he went. I don't think they're gonna open season three with him walking away. If anything, if we're gonna get a flashback of something in season two to start season three, I think it would be the school fight and we'll see Robbie and Miguel fighting and then Miguel getting kicked off the balcony. I think that's how season three might start. I don't think we're gonna necessarily start season three with how season two ended with Johnny on the beach. I think it would be more likely that it's the school fight, Miguel being pushed off the balcony. I think that's how season three might start. But once that flashback is over, I think it's gonna pick up maybe a day or like a week after the events of season two. I really can't see them going any more than a week. Like definitely not a month or months. I think that's way too much. I think when they pick up season three, it's gonna be like a day or maybe even earlier, but then a week at most. Just look at the situation. A bunch of kids got in a major school fight, a kid, got his back broken, kicked off a balcony, and then you have this crazy girl who brought a knife bracelet to school. There's so much is going on, and there's so many consequences that have to be dealt out. So I am very sure that there's gonna be no time left wasted before that happens. The end of season two really just showed everyone in the hospital, and then we saw Johnny going to Cobra Kai, and you know, you, there was Tori there and Hawk there, but we didn't really see like, where are the cops? Where are the officers? What's going on? Like, who's going to jail and all that but we know from the imdb confirmed characters that we are going to have police officers so i'm sure there will be investigations interrogations all that stuff we'll probably see people going to juvie like robbie tori which 
Hayden Schlossberg, one of the writers of the show, may have confirmed, so we can definitely see some of our characters going to Juvie, and I find that absolutely crazy, and I really don't know what's going to happen. How long are they going to be there? Is it going to be the whole season? Are there going to be, like, court trials? I have no idea how this is going to go, but I'm so excited. So while I don't believe that Cobra Kai Season 3 is going to take place immediately the second after Season 2 ended, I do believe it could take place, you know, the next day, or maybe a a week later but I really think it's from a day to a week I don't think it's any longer than that but I want to know what you guys think so comment down below how long after the events of season two do you think season three is gonna take place let me know in the comments down below I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not already and turn on that notification bell I appreciate all the support drop a like leave a comment share the channel and remember Cobra Kai never dies